Hello there, my, my old family. Thank you so much my, to all my new subscribers. If you are new here, welcome to the family. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this content. I appreciate you being a part of this family. My name is V. And if you have not taken your 2021 vacation, let's go ahead and talk about some places you might just want to visit with your family in 2021. Alrighty? Now, in 2014, we took a vacation to Orlando, Florida. And this is why we went to Orlando, Florida. Um, we visited Disney, um, Disney World or Disneyland, which I want to have up there. And we went there because when Bella was four years old, we used to watch a lot of TBN. And TBN will show the Holy Land Experience commercials. Whenever she sees those commercials, she'll be saying she wants to go there. So, of course, when we ask, what do you want to do for your five birthday? She said, I want to go to the Holy Land. And even before that, she was saying the whole time, telling everybody she comes in contact with that she wants to go to the Holy Land. So, we went there in 2014 for her birthday. Um, it was a beautiful experience. You know, they had uh, lots of activities there for the kids to do. We we just we planned a day out of our vacation day in Orlando, Florida to visit the Holy Land and we spent a day there with them and doing lots of kids activities and meeting other families um, like ourselves. So um, since then, once we took a vacation, we incorporate um, a day in there and I found a place that we can visit nearby um, in our vacation path that we can meet other families there, we can do things about God, just to show that we are doing things about God every single day. And this is what this is about. This family is a family that wants to be in God from when we rise up to when we lay down, because God has called us not to be a once a week people, but to be people that praise him all day long. God calls for us to give him our all. So this is what this channel is about again. We want to come to God daily. We want to be strategizing on how we can seek his face daily and incorporate him into our daily lives and personally connect with God every day in our lives so that because he's our personal Lord and Savior, we just don't want to come to him when we are in need, but we want to build that personal relationship with him throughout the day, every day in our life. So in um 20 uh in 2019, 2020, we plan on taking a vacation to Kentucky, the Art Encounter, and we didn't go there in 2020. We will still go to the Art Encounter in Kentucky, but we have not done so. Uh, 2019, my favorite place that we went with children activities was the actually the Billy Graham um, Museum in North Carolina. We vacationed at the Great Wolf Lodge in North Carolina in 2019, and we took a day and went to the Billy Graham Museum. And when I was there, I actually felt the presence of the Holy Spirit. The children had a lot of fun. They had activities there for the children to do. And while the, the adults, the parents look around the museum, they had the children preoccupied. And the children running around doing things, they just, and they had a little, they had some questions to answer to get a prize at the end of the, the tour. So children just connected with each other and just running around and sharing answers and sharing where things were and how to find things. And they just connected. So that from there, from that museum, I just want when we travel somewhere next time for it to be meaningful to feel and know that the presence of the living God is there. Um, so we um, this year will be taking some vacation to some places, but I'm just going to start from the top of my list. This this list that I'm giving you is in order from February to um, November. OK, so um, blessings generations. This is uh, family foundations. It is uh, ministered by Craig Hill, and he gives a, a conference for parents. And it's this I've taken this a part of this class. I have I'm not completed. I haven't completed the whole thing yet. I just did my first one on on Thursday. Yes, Thursday or Wednesday was my first class. So this is really really good. He he's such a an awesome teacher, and he tells you about the importance of repenting of things that you know we have done to cause harm or trauma hurt and pain in our children's lives and then moving on to expressing how we can bless them daily and bless our children so you bless them when they come in you bless them when they go out and uh, god has entrusted to us as parents to train up our children teach them his words in a way that they will go and not depart from it so especially in this time with gen z 
we want to make sure that we are giving our children a strong, firm, solid foundation so that they can go out there and somebody change who they are, that they know who they are and they stand on who they are in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Okay? So the next one coming up, um, Blessings Generations, this is also Virgil, I might add. He has, I think the next one is in Colorado, but he has them throughout the year and he has them in um at a physical location and virtually also. I did my virtual, of course. And the next one's coming out is Science and Wonders Camps. This is going to be um, in June and July. It's in Kansas City at the International House of Prayer in Kansas City. If you haven't done so, we haven't been to this camp. I'm uh, planning on doing one, but not this year. Um, but I have attended uh, the IHOP, um, the call conference. We have actually attended that. And since then, you know, I've been following them online and looking at their resources and their studies and their praise and worship and everything. So if you heard of um, International House of Prayer, this camp, I believe it will be a really, really great camp for your children to go and not just have fun, but to be trained up and to be equipped. Because again, this is what we want our children to do, right? We want our children to to to, to connect with God in so much that they know how to to cast out demons, raise the dead, heal the sick, you know, uh, go to nations and be the hands and feet for Jesus in the, in the world today. So that's why we want our children to be fully equipped and prepared. And I believe it is vital that we take them out from out of the four walls of the church. Not that the, I love the church, I love my church, but not that that's bad, but also to take them to these conferences so that they can get equipped. So if you are taking a vacation this year, you know, Colorado, um, and, and then Kansas City, those places are some places that you can you might think on planning your trip, or if you'll be visiting cities nearby, you can also hop over to those places, plan your trip around these days so that you can visit and have your children share the, a true experience of God with other children and other families. Um, and then Lifeway. Now, I haven't done anything with Lifeway besides purchasing resources from them. Um, they have, they have, uh, summer kids camp resources on there you can you can go on there you'll see the resources that they have and then also etch family ministry conference this one is right here in nashville i haven't been to this one i just stumbled upon it online and it sounded good i'm not sure if they're doing one this year i saw that they have one 2019 i'm not sure if they have one for 2021 um and then the next one that i have is um kingdom foundations this is with randy clerk with Global Awakening. Rennie Clark is the founder of Global Awakening, and he has several conferences throughout the year. We will actually be going to Kingdom Foundations. Kingdom Foundations, this one is actually structured and geared towards our children. It is going to teach them how, again, to impart. It's an impartation conference, and again, it's going to teach them, you know, to lay hands on people, pray for them, and all of that good stuff that we want our children to do. You know, we want our children to be able to speak in new languages, um, know that there's angels and, and what angels does and the, 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 the occupation of angels and the Holy Spirit and how they can connect with heavenly beings so that, it, so that just as it is in heaven, it is in the lives of our children in, on earth here. Alrighty, so Kingdom Foundations, um, check that out. That's the one for children. And then Greater Things. Um, greater Things, we'll actually be attending Greater Things also. Um, so this one is actually for adults. It's kind of like what impartation for adults. Um, so look on Randy Clark's um, website. I'm going to post everything in the description box below. So please check it out. Randy Clark has several conferences going on right now in several different cities. So it's the same conferences. They are on different dates in several different cities. So my, one might be nearby you. One might be, you know, in a city near where you'll be taking a vacation. So this is just the way that we do vacation. And this is Bella is responsible for changing the way that we do vacation. And I hope that if you encounter this video, that means you need to change the way that you do vacation 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 somewhere and go and take out a day in, on your vacation time where you can be equipped equipped and refreshed and come back ready running in your local church to do great exploits in the kingdom of god okay so thank you again for tuning in um 
i hope you enjoy this content let me know in the description box below any any places that you have visited and you enjoy and wants to share with us we'll be we'd we'll love to go check it out any resources that you have please share in the description box below a, a comment on this video i appreciate it so much thank you for watching and you make it a great day and a wonderful night thank you bye bye